this is an interesting one. This is um, a rat that goes around the batteries, which is actually a heater. As you can see, it's quite considerable. <laughs> Connects into the. Uh, I thought there might be a, a disconnecting um, plug so you can just disconnect it, but apparently not. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite long, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to wipe it because there's obviously some. It's got a bit, a bit of liquid that's obviously off the batteries themselves. So I'll give it a bit of a wipe round just to clean it off. I see a bit of light rain. So that might help. And then of course we've got the loom, which has got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's got eight points on it. So there's actually one for each battery, is that right? One for each battery as well. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. I thought they'd have just taken the positive and negative from the supplies, but apparently not. So, uh, yeah, we've nicely cleaned out our battery tray. It's covered in uh, SH1T. There's the uh, straps, and might clean the wires up a bit. I found a few of the uh, inside. There was a few um, washers and stuff that have basically gone into the bottom of it. That wasn't too good. I might give it a good wipe out. And also in the corners, we've got. A little bit of damage there, I don't know what the crack is there, maybe it's because the batteries were squarer than the tray was pressed for. So, uh, yeah, I'm presuming this is chassis, I'm presuming. Yeah, under there. So, yeah, it feels a bit solid, that's probably chassis under there. Support the weight of the batteries. Yeah, but good, anyway, so we're alright, we're on. I've got a diagram roughly, I think. And I think that these two here is seven and eight, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just going by the charging curves, because when I got this car, um, these two had about three and a half volts on them each. These are six volt batteries, of course. Three and a half volts on these. All the rest of them were less than a volt. In fact, like less than half a volt, I think. So I would say that these two here were probably the better condition of the other two looking at the charging curves consistently I think this one here always shows good performance and then there's a few graphs which show this one has reasonable performance as well when it's charging the rest of them are pretty dire so I think these are seven and eight and it's that way around you know what I mean I've got a diagram on the uh, on my research page as well which I'll put a link in the description for Oh, and then of course we've got the irrigation system, I'll just pull that out as well. Just give that a bit of a... well, I don't know what I can do with that. You know, I'll probably just leave it as it is, because there's nothing really I can do with that. Besides putting back on the batteries. <laughs> Make sure they're on securely. Yeah. So, reassembly is the uh, reverse of removal. <coughs> yeah. Um, I'll come to that later.